family, this is the Let We Go channel, your boy Chris here and a dong in Shagaramas and your boy looking for a little sweat, a little exercise and I come out and I want to take a little ride. At the end of the day, I wanted to be safe also. So I know of this little place, dong Shagaramas and I go and rename this the Red Road because it's we own little cycling track and we could go and take a little to spin when we're ready. This place is perfect for your family or if you even want to do your individual training is we own 6.4 kilometers red road. Perfect for getting fit, doing your own exercises and we not to worry about them close calls with them cars. So guys, let we go, explore, experience and we going and expose the red road riding to you guys out there. There we go. So if you're starting off from the Williams Bay side where I started, one of your first things that you're gonna realize and notice and have an eye full of is the Williams Bay, whereby they have its own boardwalk. Really, really nice, amazing, scenic stuff across the road it have its own car park here will usually be ram out around this time but you have the restrictions by the end of the day you could ride next to it you could run next to it you could walk next to it you could carry a churn and stroll next to it and just taking some real beautiful scenic sights and taking some good fresh salt water and literally right next to Williams Bay is Pier 1 the very famous Pier 1 much known for all of their fets and events and stuff like that but actually it's a marina a lot of people host their boats there and they put them up to dock it and clean it and all these different things but trust that I don't know nothing about that aspect of things I only know pay one for fets and one of my very first not so good experiences with alcohol was right here in the pay one and I'm sure many of you have many moments like that Leave it down in the comments below if you ever get a little bit crazy. And of course, you can list all the fets that you have been to at this beautiful place for all of these great fets. And we continue to ride on the red road. And on the opposite side of the red road, kind of a little bit like a two minutes walk from Pier 1, is the Bass Nightclub. Now, listen. Based on a Friday back in the day was the flick. Trust me, I know all you have some memories out there. Drop them memories in the comments. Woo! This was the place to be. Trinidad and Tobago, yeah, we are we own Adventure Park. It's called Five Islands. Your boy never went it. And you wouldn't know if I went there because of course you guys would have come with me. But till it open, this kind of where it is down in the back here. Check it out, they had a huge car park. It just have a set of adventure thing to do with go-kart and all these different things. I never went so I can't speak on it. I know many of you guys have already went so just leave your experience how it was. So I'll kind of have a little heads up as in what to expect. But at some point when they do open, yeah man, you'll be checking out Five Islands. So next to the Five Islands, there is the Military Museum. And I ain't sure if I'll ever be driving down in Chagaramas and you see a whole Biwi plane just park up at the side of the road. Well, it's right inside of here you will have the opportunity to check it out. For the life of me, I don't know if they have been open, but when they do, if they do, whenever they do, check it out. Get some history in, because this museum has some pretty cool artifacts. Continue to ride on the red road. Right behind me is the Coast Guard Training Center down in Shagaramas. Now I remember I was a real young fella and my godfather took me to go on one of those military vessels from the US. It came into our waters and we could have taken a little dinghy out it and check out this vessel with all of these monster bombs and guns and 
real serious thing. I talking about that is a little, little fella. So I don't even know if them things has ever happened again. But trust me, I's a big man now and I still remember that. So maybe somebody should organize something like that. Bring in these vessels and allow people to go and see and just explore. By the end of the day, this is the Coast Guard Training Center. So as always see for yourself, I'm my own road. You see that big, big truck that now passed me there? But I safe because I on my red road and I ride in. So we still on the Levy Good channel and we exploring red road riding. And because I ride in, I take my time, man, I discovering all kind of thing. Look at a restaurant I never know about in my life, the gallery restaurant. And it's embedded, I believe, inside of the Trinidad and Tobago Sailing Association. Who would have known? Well, I know now because I'm on the red road riding. Weird enough, one of the things that I really remember this particular venue for is Song Clash. It had all kind of different events that's happening there, Fet and Event and, and Wind Down Low and all these different things. But boy, my younger days, I used to come here when it used to be called Mobs 2. And it's Song Clash. You're hearing some of the greatest Song Clash and Dub Plate and the whole works. And of course, big artists. I remember I came to see Sizzler down in the Mobs 2. That's what it was called before they renamed it O2 Park. But still, big up yourself, O2 Park. List the type of events you guys have been to, where there's O2 Park, where there's mobs too. We're continuing to ride the Red Room. And look where I stumbled upon a Norwich Anchorage here in a back in the day. This was the place to be Anchorage and Tsunami and boys only fit and fit and party. Right now, Anchorage really catering to smaller events and I think you could pick up a boat here and a little wedding, etc, etc. The party thing, I ain't too sure. Corporate events, yada, yada. But Anchorage, they renovate, AC down, looking real best. So boy, you know, this red road riding have me just reminiscing on my past, boy. And you know, it would appear I used to real party. Yeah, I thought I was, you know, a little small in the party thing, but boy, what boy? Anchorage by Tsunami. Anyway, we're continuing Red Road Riding. It's just amazing to really see parents coming out with their kids and they have a safe place to ride. Red Road Riding, all you need to check this place out. But anyway, task at hand is we now reach cruising. Many of you all know cruising. It's a hotel, they have a restaurant, they have a Massey, they have a deli. They, they primarily you could come here, dock your boat, um, all these different things. I'm not too sure exactly all the dynamics of it, but the restaurant best, the hotel best. I'm talking from experience. Check it out when you guys get an opportunity to. I will pretty much say you won't be disappointed. Man coming down here is only memory lane I'm telling all you here. And now see a sign that say the low. And that was our next party spot back in the day. Definitely them not wrong no more. I actually think it was is a restaurant that's set up there now, but what the ass is only memories going down this red road boy. What going on? But anyway, so this is our next joint where you could pick up some food and I think it have a laundromat, it have all kind of different things. I do not know all of the details. You guys down here. Help out your boy because I don't know everything. So list all of the different things that you could get in this vicinity here. I'm not sure, please forgive me. But at the end of the day, it's Red Road Riding. Memory lane for me. You guys, check it out. Bring out your bike, bring out your best shoes, and just get some exercise in. There we go. All right, so we just reached Power Boats. Uh, that's actually back that way, about a minute walk from here. 
and why I decided to come down here, it's a little cooler down, so oh, there's only hot sun boy. So power boat is a marina where you could dock your boat and clean your boat and fix your boat and all these different things with boat life. Guys out there do kill me and not familiar with this type of uh, terminology and stuff like that. But definitely I see real yachts and boats and all kind of thing down there. Real best vibe. And then right, right next door to it, kind of like where I am now, there's a restaurant down on this side. I'm sure many of you are familiar with it if you don't know. Well, hmm, I'm, I'm going to encourage my viewers to let all you know. So tell everybody which restaurant you could find right next to Power Boats. Leave it down in the comments below. We're continuing this red road riding. Let me go. Right now I discovered all kind of things down here just because you know you slow down the pace, you ain't speed and cross the road. I come across a, a hotel, I never know about this hotel, West Palm Hotel. Any all ever stay at this hotel? I mean, it might be opportunity sometime in the near future. Come and check out the hotel. I never hear about this hotel before. But guys, leave it down in the comments below because it might be somewhere I want to check out. How is West Palm Hotel? Let me know. Me no rule maker. Nothing of the sort. But I had an experience here when I was coming down, riding on the left half of the red road and it had walkers slash runners on the same left side coming the opposite way so i was forced to go onto the red the, the right half of the road so i didn't want to make no rules or no problems or anything but i just kind of applied the driving um philosophy for trinidad whereby you just kind of ride on one half of the road and the next half is for the other direction the oncoming traffic so these little pillars that you're seeing here they kind of form somewhat of a middle ground a separation ground and i just assumed that the left half of that is for traffic going one direction and the other half of that is for traffic exiting the other direction i don't know i, I don't make no rules but might be a good suggestion that people can uh, do that. I mean, just a suggestion, no problems. Back to the red road riding. Now this is one of the structures that has always caught my eye. You see this UTT building? I really, really find that they did a pretty awesome job on the architecture on this building. It is really spectacular. For the life of me, I don't know if it is still in operation. It seems very dead right now, but I know that the, the place kind of on lockdown, so you can't really do much and go to school, so everything is virtual. So they have this good and it's bad with its COVID because now you don't have to physically go to class and stuff anymore. But wow, what a beautiful building and it's just here. Uh, but it still looks amazing. Any of you students that are watching this video, yeah, just comment below. Big up your school, UTT, big up all yourself. Red road riding and I'm looking for all the help right now because it's all about education and learning a few things because I want to learn my country. At the end of the day, I have no idea what is this in the back here. I am guessing it is something to do with these big oil vessels that they have to rig up and whatever. Somebody leave that down in the comments below because I really don't have a clue and I'm sure it's a real people out there who don't know what it is either. Let me know down in the comments below what is this, what is all of that, I have no idea. Let we go back to the red road riding. So we have come to the end of the red road riding. 6.4 kilometers of red road for as best safety as possible for you, your family, as a rider, as a runner. Come out guys, bring the whole team out and enjoy the red road. I mean, it could be as safe as, as it possibly can. So guys, it still have a speed limit down on the western main road, which is 50 kilometers. All here, cool it down a little bit when you come down here because you have families riding and enjoying themselves and people just trying to get a little exercise in. 
and enjoy the atmosphere. So I just need to tell you guys thank you all so very much for joining us on this Let We Go Red Road Riding and all of the different questions that I have that I posted to you guys which is where is this place because this is the Caribbean Dockyard. I have no idea what they do here but this is actually where the Red Road ends and I am just glad that I was able to do this experience and you guys have joined me so we was able to come down here and explore I was able to experience it and I fully enjoy it and I have just exposed it to you What's the excuse for not coming down here again? You have none 6.4 kilometers come down here with your whole family enjoy the thing from Williams Bay all the way down to Caribbean Dockyard Guys, I will see you in the next one. Boom. I don't know who tell me to come out in this blazing hot sun. Of course, I ain't have no hat. Just have a helmet because you know you gotta be safe and everything. And I wanna come out the sun so bad I forget to tell all you. Yo, like, comment, subscribe. All in all, this red road riding wasn't a bad idea at all. Fully enjoyed it. What I forgot to do is big up my buddy who loaned me his bike Michael Sinclair Much appreciation my brother Thank you so very much for loaning me your bike Your bike rides really really good Real nice have me contemplating that I should get a bike I just kind of don't have somewhere to put it right now like no storage area But we go figure that out So Thanks guys for staying here with us on the Red Road Riding on the Levigo channel. So I'm definitely gonna see you guys in the next one. Blessings! <laughs>